Hey, happy Thursday. It is Thursday, April 14th, 2020. Um, I'm in a really good mood early this morning. Well, not really early, probably about eight o'clock. I left to go to um, a property to go check an irrigation system. Um, work has been really interesting because my grant officially ran out last Wednesday, not yesterday, the Wednesday prior to. Um, so all of the work that I'm doing now is being funded by grants that have been pulled together from other areas. We're going to try to get more funding for, for here. So it's kind of an interesting time in my life. We're kind of seeing where things go. It, it The pandemic is still going on. Um, gas is under two, still under $2 a gallon, which is extremely impressive. We're now starting to see the economy collapse even more. We're seeing major layoffs from people who are not able to keep their businesses afloat you're seeing businesses that have been in for long times that are now closing because they could not recover from this um so we'll kind of see where my job goes i'm looking into an urban farming job actually because i really kind of want to get my hands in the dirt again um i do enjoy what i'm doing now but it's not exactly my favorite i mean it's been a very wonderful learning opportunity so that's kind of that update with work um, I know we're not supposed to travel, but this last weekend I ended up going up to my parents. They had 70 meat birds that needed to be processed. So all day Friday we um, processed birds and then Saturday morning we processed the last 20. It was a really good opportunity to, to get things done as well to show Esmeralda Calaveras County. Saturday afternoon I took up to Alpine. There was still ice on the, the lake up there, which was really, really cool to see. She also got to play in the snow a little bit for what's left. Um, and then we went on a small hike and went back to the house, had pizza. Sunday came along. We um, ended up chilling, having brunch with everybody. And then we made our three-hour commute back to Chico. Currently, she is still living with me. We are seeing where that goes. She's still renting her place in San Jose, but she's been up here for the last two and a half months now and we've been dating for the total of seven we are kind of seeing where things go i don't really feel like we're in the cupcake stage anymore we're more of like roommates to have fun every once in a while um i consider her a very very dear friend at this point and i did tell her i loved her last night but more from a point of view of like a friend and i that i deeply care about her um i'm i'm at work that's why it's not in the the holster thing the phone i'm currently in the jeep i have a gorgeous view this morning i was able to drive past all the rice fields which are fully flooded right now with the little green grass starting to pop up it's really really pretty um you have the walnut trees which are starting to form walnuts and then you have the almond trees which are fully developed um, and they will be harvested in a couple months later this summer um I am currently sitting out front the Orville After Bay. So I have this gorgeous view while I'm videoing for you guys. So I get to enjoy this little view and then I will head back to the office. I'm almost there. Um, news and news has been kind of crazy because it's just kind of seeing how the pandemic continues to play out and how the economy will continue. Um, I'm starting to do a little bit of invest investments because it's, start, it's, a, it's a cheaper time to do it. There is a couple things that are on my radar of things that I would like to, that are goals that I would like to accomplish with in the next couple months. One, I would like to buy a fancy ass coffee pot. My mom ended up getting this fancy one and it makes the best coffee. And if you know me, I'm a big coffee fan. Uh, I'm actually finishing up cup number two today. Uh, I'm a lot more cheerful after coffee. I really enjoy coffee. It just it it's my it's my addiction it's what I really enjoy um so it would it would do really well for me to invest in a good coffee pot um I would like to get my motorcycles license and a motorcycle here with before the end of summer so hopefully by June I can kind of like start working that way depends on what starts opening back up and if I can take the class to get my permit or to get my license and then we have what else was it on my goal? Oh, investment wise, it's still highly illegal in the United States, but I would like to invest in magic mushrooms. 
Um, I think when we come out of the pandemic that a lot of states and counties are going to be more open to it. Currently in California, we have two counties that are open to magic mushrooms. You have Monterey County and then you also have um, Oakland. I don't know what county they are, but uh, Oakland has officially approved the um, approved magic mushrooms for use. We will kind of see where things go. Uh, but I do think that that's going to be the next major thing to invest in. So if I can kind of start saving up and doing that now, we'll see. Um, on another note, my job is kind of insecure at this point, but I've been known, I've known that for a couple months and now it's just kind of seeing how it plays out. I do know that everything works out the way it's needed to. You just have to have faith. And right now I have complete blind faith. So that is my update and I will check in with you guys later. Happy Thursday.